Wow, where do we start? That's amazing performance. I mean, that first lap, a 13.6, mighty. We could see in Q2 when we went for the super soft, the harder of the two tyres. You know, we, we took a bit of a gamble with that, but we felt it was worth, worth a go. And then the two laps, or certainly the first lap he did in Q3, was just dynamite. But he's been on it all weekend, and you know the wise people in the paddock, they say, oh, don't worry, Mercedes will turn it up and they'll crush you in Q3. Just didn't happen. I mean, that last lap was sensational. I mean, to be in the 13s around here, wow. Um, and uh, he's been driving beautifully all weekend. I mean, if you've only got to look in this last sector how, you know, how clean he's been, been you know, driving the car. And uh, the lap times just rolled together for him. So uh, a great moment for him, his first pole position, you know, our since, first since 2013. So uh, a great start to the weekend. Yeah, you can say that again. And, and, and one way you're going to be running a conscious strategy to those people around you. Just explain what you're thinking in terms of doing a, a longer first stint, because you're starting on the super softs while everyone else is starting on the ultra softs. Well, we just felt that the super soft has a bit more range. So, um, you know, we felt that if we could get on that tire, it gives you more options. But of course, that goes out the window if it rains tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, OK. It, yeah, it, it certainly gives you more strategic options. Yeah. So um, I was surprised that nobody else opted for it. But it was, uh, you know, we, we gave it a go and it, it paid off. Yeah, OK, just finally a bit unfortunate for Max. Yeah, it was unfortunate. I mean, he clipped the barrier on the inside. It broke the track rod. And at that point, he's. He's a passenger, so you know, desperately unlucky on his first lap. So, um, you know, we'll be expecting something a bit special from him tomorrow. I think he's got enough credit in the bank. You know, you're not too upset uh, about. It. No, absolutely. I mean, it's just a reminder, you know, that in this sport, how how fine the margins are. But uh, you know, hopefully, he can have a good race tomorrow. Well done today. You get on that tire; it gives you more options. But of course, that goes out the window if it rains tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, it, yeah, it, it certainly gives you more strategic options so um i was surprised that nobody else opted for it but it was uh you know we we gave it a go and it, it paid wow where do we start that's amazing performance i mean that first lap a 13.6 mighty we could see in q2 when we went for the super soft the harder of the two tires you know we, we took a bit of a gamble with that but we felt it was worth worth a go and then the two laps or certainly the first lap he did start to the weekend yeah, say that again, and, and, and one way you're going to be running a conscious strategy to those people around you, just explain what you're thinking in terms of doing a, a longer first stint, because you're starting on the super softs while everyone else is starting on the ultra softs. Well, we just felt that the super soft has a bit more range, so, um, you know, we felt that if we could in Q3 was just dynamite. But he's been on it all weekend, and you know, the wise people in the paddock, they say, oh, don't worry, Mercedes will turn it up and they'll crush you in Q3, just didn't happen. I mean, that last lap was sensational. I mean, to be in the 13s around here, wow. Um, and uh, he's been driving beautifully all weekend. I mean, if you've only got to look in this last sector how, you know, how clean he's been, been you know, driving the car. And uh, the lap times just rolled together for him. So uh, a great moment for him, his first pole position, you know, our since, first since 2013. So uh, a great start.